You mentioned Marty Fredrickson in there, who's uh, uh, an interesting cat. Tell me a little bit about your relationship with him and, and what he brings to the table. Cause uh, again, he's, he's helped create some great stuff. Yeah. Um, I've been working with Marty since, um, since leave this town, our second record, uh, oh. we started writing together and we've written a lot of songs. We wrote crawling back to you. We wrote um, this song that I really loved that ended up being um, on this Batman Arkham City soundtrack called Drowning You. It's a really heavy rock tune that, that I loved a lot. And, um, and we've, we've just written a lot over the years and songs have made it, songs haven't, but we've always stayed, you know, really close. And I always felt like he got me as an artist and, and really understood, uh, you know, the rock side of me more than some of the other guys that I'd worked with. And mm. um, same with Scott Stevens, you know, who I'd worked with prior to um, our fourth record. And I always felt like those would be a great combination, which is why I wanted to, to get them to do this record, especially now that I'm free and clear of a major label and I get to do exactly what I want. Yeah. Um, it uh, Marty brings this old soul, old school rock vibe, you know, and Scott kind of brings the new new school rock. And it's a great combination because I'm all I've always been a melody guy and um, I've always been drawn to singers. So any any genre of music, it was always the singer first. And uh, I was always a huge fan of those old 70s rock albums and, and a huge fan of Foreigner and, and uh, Lou Graham and uh you know uh, david coverdale you know all the and then yeah. then cornell and um all the cats from the 90s that were huge influence on me so i just think he kind of really taps into that and brings a lot of that like old school swag to some of the newer style and uh it's a nice mashup 